good afternoon, good evening, <clears throat> depending on what part of the world you are in. Let's get you on. So Mike is on. Let's get you on my screen. Make sure of my. There we go. Let's grab an empty slot. We're gonna start a new save game. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave save game four for my test map. We're gonna start a new save game. New farmer mode. Richie's Creek and start. So yeah, we're pretty much done with testing. The only thing that has not been tested is the BGA. I'll test that off camera tonight. Dixie was testing pretty much all night. She didn't run into any more issues. I tested the carrots this morning. That They work fine. So the new crops seem to be fine. Um, the Wi-Fi is really crap today, so if I start buffering or, or if I lose connection, I'm just going to stay offline for the rest of the day. But as long as, if the Wi-Fi works, we'll come in here, we'll do some, um, like a realistic gameplay this morning. So we won't have to cheat anything else in for testing, which is super nice. And if we do have to test anything, we can jump, switch save games and jump into test map. All right, let's jump in here. Uh, I don't care what my character looks like. All right, so the first thing I want to do, let's jump down here. We are going to go, I'm going to leave auto save on. I'm going to go down to real time. Uh, I'm going to leave traffic on for the most part. Seasonal growth off one day. Um, I'll leave snow on. Crop destruction off. Plowing on. I'm going to turn field stones off because they're just a pain in the ass. I'm going to leave line on. Weeds are going to go off. Dirt, I'm just going to go slow. Uh, leave that alone, leave that alone. I'm going to up the fuel usage because we'll be making our own diesel. And let's just go off, 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 off. And save. Alright, I'm not going to do a good, I'm not going to do a uh, full tour of the map today. I did that yesterday. Alfred Prom, hello old man, good morning. So in new farmer mode we have um, a little bit of grass field, field one, field two. So if you want to see a really good map tour go watch yesterday's first stream or the day before first stream. I forget which one it is. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is take a look at our field statuses. Field 1 and Field 2. Uh, one is plowed, one is cultivated, but I think they're both going to show need plowing. Yeah, I think they're both going to show need plowing. I don't think they need lime, but once we plow them, they're going to, yeah, so they're going to need lime, they're going to need plow. So let's work on Field 1 and Field 2 first. But I want to get, I want to, we're going to, we're going to change a few things up here real quick. So let's go to the garage. We're going to have a fire sale. Uh, I'm going to sell off both large tractors. So I'm going to replace these. I'm going to keep the, J, the, the JCB because it has a front loader attached. It. The harvester is going to go. Uh, oh, we're going to go back into the garage. Header's going to go. Corn header's going to go. Uh, plow is going to go. Uh, cultivator I'll keep for now. I don't know if we're going to need it. Uh, we're going to swap out cedars. So we're going to sell this one. I'm going to keep the roller. I'm going to keep the sprayer. I'm going to keep the fertilizer spreader for now. I'll keep the front loader because we need it for the JCB. I can get rid of the header trailer. So that's going to get us um, some cash to start with. Let's grab uh, this tractor. We're going to go with, uh, was it this color? I love that color. Uh, let's go with wheel weights. I'm going to bump the engine up. Change the rim color to gray. 
and Old Man 102 license plates. Buy this guy. And then if we have enough cash, we'll come in and buy a second one. I don't want to spend all of our cash yet. So let's get that tractor, and then we're also going to need a new plow now. Um, so let's grab, I'm going to grab this guy. Um, what do we have? No color options. We're just going to straight up buy this plow. And if we need to earn some cash, we can go sell off some mining materials. Oh crap, I forgot to move my store delivery mod. So all the shit I just bought went to the store. That's right, it's only the plow. Let's get back to the house and we'll move the store delivery mod. Hope everyone is doing well today. Oh my goodness, let me catch up on chat. Um, 1018, good morning everyone. V-O-L-L-E-F-H, hello, sassy one, good morning. Uh, did you see troubles when requesting new crops in the map? I saw difference with the standard ones when different statuses the crop terrain. Um, Matt K, the map looks... I haven't seen any... We haven't had any issues with the new crops. We've, te all, we've tested all four new crops with no issues. Um, Matt K, map looks very nice. Thank you. Yeah, is this, uh, it's going to go to the Patreons tomorrow. Oh, hold on. I'm going to have to turn traffic off. Oh, wrong one. Let's turn traffic off. Oh, there we go. Take care of that problem. Yeah, we've had no issues. All four new crops have been tested. We've had no issues. The terrain's a little bit different, but there's no... I don't, haven't seen any issues with the uh, crop itself. I think that's just the 22 texture glitch, to be honest with you. Alright, so let's get this plow sitting over here. Yeah, so the only thing that's not been tested is the BGA. Alright, let me grab my speed mod so I can run. I'm going to move my store delivery mod over here. Uh, let's put it like right here. Right there. Alright, that'll work. Alright, so we need to get... We're going to line, we're going to plow. And then we're going to seed. So let's grab... Oh, let's go to seeders. Um, it's ready to make translations mainly for the placeables. Did you add the script for language? I did not. So right now it's only in English. Everything's just in English. Oh, not plows. Cedars. DB120. So we'll have our DB120. Uh, we have our plow. I'm going to need... I'm so tempted to buy another tractor. Let's Let's deal with the just the one for now. Until we start making our own seeds and fertilizer and everything, I'm going to put a couple of fill stations over here. Uh, so silos. Is it silos? No. Silo extensions. Containers. Oh. Tools. Oh, here we go. Iconic. Um, let me spin my camera around. All right, so we're going to go with a seed refill. Throw that one down. I'm going to go with um, lime, because we're going to have the lime. Let's put the lime down here a little bit further. So I'll throw the lime there, and then we need liquid fur. 
throw liquid fert down here so we can fill our implements till we start making our own. I'm going to take this guy. Let me get this cultivator out of the way. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or sell it. I'm not sure yet. Let me throw this over here. And then I'm going to drop the front loader. Over here. Till we need it. Let's grab our fertilizer spreader. And we'll grab some lime. Yeah, super excited to get this map to the Patreons tomorrow. I'll get the mod pack together tonight. I'll get everything uploaded tonight. Let's make sure there's no other adjustments with myself and Dixie playing today. Dixie's going to try, I think Dixie's going to stream later today. Um, she is, she has some real life stuff going on today, so she's going to be gone for a few hours. Um, Sassy One sounds wonderful, yeah. Alright, I'm going to, even though this is showing plowed, I'm going to replow it. We're going to get lime down, we're going to get fertilizer down, we're going to plow, and then we're going to seed. And I'm seriously thinking about plowing these two fields together. So this morning I added hydrogen and oxygen to the refinery. So the refinery will now make hydrogen and oxygen. And then the composter takes the hydrogen and oxygen and makes water. And then the water, if you turn it to distribute, to distribute it, it'll send it to the other factories that need water. Eventually, I'll add water into, we'll have a separate placeable for water. I just didn't have time to make it. And we'll have a separate, because there's a lot of factories that need water, so the composter is not going to keep up. So I'll some point today or tonight I'm going to get a separate little factory together that makes takes the hydrogen oxygen and makes water. This way you don't have to cart water around if you don't want to to the uh, factories that need it. Eventually, I want to get a bigger um, lime spreader as soon as we have some extra cash. Actually, let me hire a worker. Let's look at that right now. What are our options for... Uh, where is... Harvesters, I'm completely blind today. Grape technology, aw, crop protection. What are our options? You do both and you do both. Uh, 36 meters, 48 meters. 
you know what? We're going to buy this guy, and once this lime spreader runs out, we're going to once it, this runs out of lime, we're going to sell it. Oh, you don't take lime. Crap. What do we have that... Uh, is there lime technology? So I'm going to have to mod something for lime. So that's only liquid fertilizer. So neither one of these you takes lime. Well, that sucks. We have to find something modded that takes lime. Oh well, so we're stuck with this one for now. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on hired worker for now. Let him do his thing, and then we'll put him onto the other field next. Let's grab this guy. Let's leave the plow here. head back over this way. Let our hired help work for a bit. All right, so I'm going to actually hold on. We're going to I'm going to keep this sprayer. We're going to use the sprayer. We're going to use that roller. Let me sell off this trailer. So we're going to sell this one off. All right, we're going to grab um, Papa Smurf's Chrome Pack. I think it was this one. Yeah, it's this one. It's the difference between these two. I've been using this one. Ten ton. What's the difference? Cover no capacity. I don't know what, honestly don't know what the difference is. Besides it being um, another extra cash, no cover capacity. Yeah, it's got the same capacity. We'll just get this one, and then we're gonna grab the good old milling machine. Okay, how come the colors didn't come up? There we go. Let's go with like red so I can find it easily, or an orange. So I can spot it a little bit easier. And then let's go sell off some coal because we're going to need more equipment. We're going to need a new harvester. I'll jump on Mod Hub later today and see if I can find something to, that does lime, or I'll just make my own. I'll pull one of those out of the in game and add lime to it. We own the coal. Well, we we own the land where the coal mine is, but we don't actually own the coal mine itself yet. But we're going to sell off some coal, and earn some cash. I'm going to work on this bunker cleaner a little bit because it needs some. Um, it needs a little bit more love with the triggers. not perfect but it works so yeah the patrons will get I'm hoping to get to the patrons tomorrow I'll probably give it to uh, um, if Southern Trucker wants it and wants the live stream, I'll get it to Southern Trucker. Um, I believe it's Never Back Down also streams. And um, used to be Hillbilly is now um, Dragon Nation. So I'll see if he wants uh, uh, the map as well.
but I got to get the mod pack together to go with the map for the Patreons. But you're going to need the bunker cleaner, you're going to need the MAN trucks, uh, you're going to need the ropa to harvest the carrots with, the grass dryer, the cedar, the fertilizer maker. So there's a small mod pack that's going to go with the map. And most of the factories are built into the map. Try and keep an eye on notifications so um, I can see that lime spreader when it's empty. Try and knock this edge down a little bit. I hope everyone is doing well today. Yeah, we were super excited and pleased how quickly it took to, uh, how quickly we were able to build the map, but there's really not a lot built into it in the way of production facilities because they're all place your own. And they all seem to be working really well. Uh, let me check on, before we drive to the cell point, how is that fertilizer spreader doing? He is probably empty. Nope, um, almost empty. Actually, let's fire you and try and finish this real quick. get one more pass out of you. Are we going to make it? Is she going to run out? Uh, just enough. Let's go refill this. Can't wait 
wait till we start making our own lime. Sorry about that. I had to mute my mic for a second. Now it's higher. Yep. You do your thing. Let's go sell this off. And we got to, I want to fertilize that line, the field we just lined before we plow it. And now the first priority is getting all of our equipment sorted out today. So when you're going to need a harvester header we're going to need a lawnmower or grass cutter, loading wagon, Now, I've not done any animals yet in 22, so I have no idea how the animal husband, husbandry works for uh, 22. But it'll be a few days before we get some animal pens. We'll get the basic production up and running first. What I'm probably going to do is buy another tractor. Even if we have to sell another load of coal off, I'm going to buy. I want to. I want another tractor. We'll probably end up selling like three or four loads of coal today to get our, st our fleet of vehicles sorted out. This should get us about three hundred thousand dollars.
those are the only animals. Uh, chickens take three different things, but can't remember what, um, except wheat, because that's what I use for the sheep. Oh, and the sheep take grass. Yeah, I, but we'll get into animals here in a few days, probably. I'm going to drive this guy back to the mine, because we are going to probably sell off. I want enough cash. We're probably going to sell off a couple loads of coal while our helpers are working the fields. But I want to buy another tractor so we can get the first field fertilized so we can get the plow going. I have not played far yeah, I've not played enough to to work with animals yet. Even on my YouTube series for No Man's Land. Uh, I've not gotten into animals yet. But the first order of business here is to get our two fields ready. Drop this, this, drop this back in the coal mine. All right, you stay here. We're going to get ourselves another tractor. And I love this color. We're going to go with that color. I'm going to go with wheel weights, bigger engine. Um, change the rim color. And then he should be sitting here. So I'm going to grab if I can get in here. Without knocking it over. Liquid fur. There we go. We'll check on our lime spreader. moving in the background or did he stop? Looks like he may be out of lime. Yeah, I think he's out of lime. Let's go. Oh, no, you decided that you were uh, going to go home for the day. Must have been breakfast time or something. Oh, this is another one that's like super slow. I miss all my modded equipment from 19. Uh, you know what then? I'm just going to hire a worker and jump out of here. I'll let him do his thing. Let the lime spreader do his thing. Let's grab some more coal. Okay, why won't you let me lower? There we go. 
I, you do too. Yeah, we're gonna have to. If I, I'm probably gonna pull a lot of the in-game vehicles out of the it, the base game map and just make some personal edits to them, just so I can have some quicker equipment. That slow equipment drives me crazy. There's nothing I could do about what I call the ore breaking. It's a glitch that I had in 19 I couldn't fix that carried over to 22. I have no idea why that does that. Yeah, but I can't deal with all this uh, slow equipment. So I'll probably take the, uh, that hardy in-game. So my plan is I'm going to pull this one out of the in-game. Uh, where's the uh, this guy? I'll probably pull this guy out of in-game and then speed it up and add lime to it. And if I do, I'll share it with everybody. Doesn't the other maps also? Okay. Yeah, it's something. I, it happened in 19, and I couldn't figure it out. And it's happening again in 22. But at uh, some point today, I'm going to pull that Hardy out of in-game, and I'll mod it, make some personal edits to it. We'll add lime to it. We'll speed it up. We'll app the capacity, and then I'll get it out. If I don't get it done for map release, I'll get it done for mod pack one. Alright, so it looks like, uh, let's turn this guy off and leave him here. It looks like our lime spreader's going to give us a hard time. Let's go refill it. And we're probably going to have to finish this field ourselves. some more lime. Matter of fact, we may <clears throat> we may jump out of here and go do that now. Because this slow equipment drives me nuts. If I do a headland along this side first, will you stop stopping at the end of the row? See what you do this time.
I want to work on this off camera today as well. I got to lower the. I got to go in and adjust the triggers on this, so it scrapes the ground. The trigger is just a bit too high. Sinuses are killing me again today. Come on, you're almost there. Top the trailer off. There we go. Two million liters. Should be about another $300,000. I took an in-game harvester yesterday and modded it myself. Um, just made some personal edits to it so it's quicker and holds more. Yeah, that see that lime spreader doesn't like that odd shaped field. So let's get this guy to the cell point and then we'll go fix the um we'll go adjust that lime spreader again. Let him sit here a minute. <laughs> yeah, you just don't like this odd shaped field. And then where's our other guy? I'm going to fire him. Let's take over. Let's finish this up. Field works priority over getting cash for the coal.
you're probably going to stop again at the end of this row. Are you going to turn around? You're actually going to turn around this time, you're going to tell me you're done. Alright, I'm going to fire him. Let's do... I should have fired... yeah, you're, let's do a quick save. Let's go work on some equipment for a minute or two. And we'll come back in. I'm going to throw you on window. And let's see what we can do. So we're going to work on, let's, we're going to adjust the trigger on the uh, snowblower real quick. Uh, where's my adjusted mods? Do I have the snowblower open? I don't. So let's grab that. Uh, copy <coughs> and paste. See if we can get this trigger adjusted a little bit. I'm going to create a plane to work on so I know where the ground is. And I'm going to create a different camera for a minute. Just so I can, um, I don't mess the original camera up. So the original camera will stay in place. Where are the triggers? AI pickup node. Is there are there no actual trigger? <clears throat> Does it run off just a node? Alright, that right there. I need to find that trigger. Tip trigger. Tip I think that's the trigger that needs to be adjusted. Let's look at Season 1, Episode 1A, Sync 98. Yeah, well, I jumped out really quick because we're having some equipment issues. So we're going to work on some equipment and then jump back in the map. So what does the pick a point run off of? Foldable animation cylinder fill volume. Fill unit. <clears throat> Shovel. Pickup node. So it's going to run off of the pickup node. So it's going to run off the pickup node. Is that pickup node just a hair too high? So what am I looking? Hold on. So I'm looking at. Let's look at tip trigger. Control find tip. Tip trigger. Okay, so you're not running off the tip trigger. So that means you're running off. <clears throat> so I come down here to tip trigger. There's nothing else highlighted in green. So it's not running off the tip trigger. It's got to be running off the pickup node. So it has to be running off the pickup node. So if we take the pickup node and we drop it down a little bit further, uh, let's see if that's going to pick stuff up a little bit. Let's get rid of, oh, hold on, let's get rid of the plane. <clears throat> 
got to change back to the original camera. Now let's get rid of the test camera. Uh, let's save that. Let's see if that's going to pick up the product any better. So let's zip this back up. Uh, let's just copy <clears throat> and paste. So we'll see if that works any better. Now the other thing I want to do is let's jump on the in-game mod hub real quick and see if we can't find a self-propelled spray or make some personal edits to it. Uh, category... Uh, is there a category for sprayers? Fertilizer spreaders. Any self-propelled ones in here? No. I really don't want to have to go into the map and pull one out and make it work myself. Small tractors, trucks, harvesters, forage, harvesters, beet, sugarcane, grape, front loaders, wheel loaders, forklifts, stone pickers, Planters, rollers. We already looked at sprayers. Do we look at sprayers? This guy. Well, we could probably make a personal edit to this one. Yeah, let's download this guy. We'll make a, we'll give the, this mod author credit for it. We'll make a personal edit to it. So let's come in here. Let's go to my downloads. And let's grab this guy. Oh, wrong folder. Come over here. This folder. There we go. Alright, let's come into here. Uh, let's look at... <clears throat> Alright, so where is usually size, length, speed. Let's double the speed. And let's find its capacity and its fill units. Foldable animation cylinders fill units. Fill type categories um, <clears throat> sprayer. So if I go to my fill type categories so it's right now it's only picking up sprayer. What do we have under sprayers? Liquid fertilizer, herbicide. I'm wondering if we can add lime. Let's try it. So let's add lime to the category for the map. So it won't work on it won't if it works, it's not gonna work, it won't spray lime on other maps unless they fix the map. But let's try it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, let's just mess around with it and experiment. So if we add sprayer to the category, it, sh it should pick up lime. And then let's go with something like... Um, let's go 50,000 on the capacity, but I'm going to have to throw in another line of code. Um, let's open this up a second again. 
So I need to add in another line of code. Um, update mass. <clears throat> add update mass in. Equals false. <clears throat> Is there a sprayer listed anywhere else? All right, there's not. All right, there is not. Um, so we have that saved. New Holland. We'll give the, I'm not gonna take credit for it. We'll give the mod author complete credit for it. Let's zip this back up and see if it's gonna work. Um, still testing about possible release to Patreons tomorrow. Yes, sweet, I'm a Patreon. That would be awesome. I've been playing Valley like crazy. Oh, we don't talk about the Valley map on here. Uh, let's throw this in the mods folder. So let's copy, paste. We'll throw that in here. <coughs> let's I'm going to leave you all on the window a minute before we go back to game sync. I'm going to just jump in my test map real quick. And we'll check on the updated bunker cleaner and we'll check on that sprayer and see if it'll work with Lime or not before we go back into our other save. So back into the test map for a minute. Uh, and we'll check on the bunker cleaner, see if that, that adjusted the trigger any better. If not, I'll get with Papa Smurf. Maybe we can work on that snowblower together. The only problem with me adding lime to the sprayer, I don't know if it's going to have the animations. It may only have the animations for spraying. It may not have the animations for lime. But we can check that out here in a minute. So what do I have? See, I was testing carrot. So this is you'll get this with the um, mod pack because this is what you're going to need to harvest your carrot with and then if I come over here in Papa Smurfs um, so go to Papa Smurfs website grab the the Big X cargo and then grab his crone mod pack because I'm using this header right here so I'm using this header and I'm using his big cargo to harvest poplar with and it works really really well. I was messing around with this this morning. So this works really well with the poplar. So I was messing around with this doing some testing this morning and then this works really well with the carrots. So I'll include this one in the mod pack as well. So under um, beat technology is uh, we're not taking credit for it so it's the original author so that's his and then under headers so the potato header you have the uh, potato header and the carrot header and then under beat technology you have sugar beets and then under sugarcane technology it has the sugar cane and we're going to have to use this until Papa Smurfist releases his um, triple white T440 but this works really well for the carrots it's got some decent speed to it so you'll have to use that for the carrots where is our bunker cleaner uh, do I have one attached I don't. So we're just going to have to, where's our, let's grab, well, you're a pickup wagon, I can't use you. Oh, we're going to have to drop this trailer. Let's drop this trailer. Where's my snowblower? Right there, perfect. Let's see if the triggers, let's see if I made it the proper adjustment to the trigger. Let's go over to the mine. Um, if
if you're talking FS19, Richie Valley, oh, I have lots of hours in that map. Absolutely love it. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the uh, PV map that we don't discuss on here. If you're talking about my map, then that's awesome. Uh, let's see if this is gonna if this hitbox is any better. Yeah, your map. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, we don't talk about that other map on here. All right, let's see if this is adjusted any better. So let's get it lowered, turned on. It's still it's still gliding over the product and not picking the product up. I don't know how to adjust this. I'm gonna have to get with Papa Smurf. I think this actually did it make it worse or did it make it any better? So what's it actually working off of? Is it working off of the... What trigger is it working off of? Well, it's not horrible, but it's not perfect. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to we'll be stuck with that for a while until I can get a couple more adjustments to it. So let's look in here now under uh, where were we? Crop protection, this guy. So it's telling me it's gonna accept lime. Uh, let's turn that off. Now we're going to have to find a field that needs lime, though. But let's see if I can get lime in it. Uh, oh, I sold my lime because we were making lime. That's all right. I'll, this is my test map. Let's just throw another one down. Construction, silos, is it tools? Which one's lime? Your seed. Your fur. Where's the lime? Seed, fur, lime. Let's throw this down over here. Is there a cover? No. Oh, hold on. I don't want you to unload. I want you to start filling. Oh, it is filling. All right. Is there a field that needs lime? Wrong one. Um, so most of these are already harvested. Our own field needs lime, but it's not, it has crop in it yet. It's field six. Possibly field six. Is there a contract that to lime? Just to test it. Plowing, spraying, cultivating, harvesting, no lime. That's all right. Um, let's just buy field six since this is my test map. And we'll see if this works for lime. And we'll check the log for errors. Then we'll jump back into um, my other save game. Hoping it has the animations. Did I 
am I at the right field? Is this field six? It is. So we'll give the mod author complete credit for it. But we'll, we've got some personal adjustments to it. While that's unfolding, like really, really slowly, let's check the log. Uh, so far, so good. No errors so far. The anim let's see if the an the uh, unfolding animation is like super slow though. All right, I thought I did unfold it. Oh, it's still doing its whole. Okay, so we will get. Let me lift up the. There we go. Let's lift that up. Am I getting, we're not going to get animation coming out of the pipe, I don't think. Or, or are we? Yeah, so we're not going to get the lime animation because it's a sprayer. Let's see if this is going to throw any errors. Or if we have to add a different animation in for lime. Let's save this a second. Let's save this and jump out of here for a minute. I mean, it'll work for now, but until I can find something a little bit better. But let's see if we can't figure out the animation. Let's just make see if it's throwing any errors. So it's not throwing any errors. Uh, so if we come back into here, where's our animations? Animation. Nothing there. Uh, speed on folding. We could turn up the f speed a little bit, see if that works. Exhaust effects. Let's jump back up top, work our way down. Alright, so it's not going to be in wheels. It's not going to be in lights. Uh, license plate, work area. Type is a sprayer. Function name is processed spray area. This is what we may have to change t to a spreader instead of a sprayer. In order to get the animations. So we may not, I may not be able to take a sprayer and make it work for lime and have the animations. I may just deal with it now without the lime coming out of the pipe and just onto the field. Do I have a slime, do I have a spreader in my mods folder that we can look at the XML work? Uh, what are you? You're a truck. Do I have any spreaders? Money tool, power tool. I don't think I have any modded spreaders yet. I don't. All right, I'll mess around with this off camera. We'll see if we can get it working any better than what it currently is. I want to get back into playing. Uh, let's go back. I'll try on display capture. Let's jump back into. I'll mess around with the animations on that off camera, or I'll find a different one that we can get working better for Lime. But I'm going to use it temporarily. And we'll just deal with it.
with no animations for now. That base game equipment's way too slow for me. I can't deal with it. Alright, so let's get this guy back. Let's finish our field work before we mess around with more modded equipment. So let's hire you. And then let's get this field done. thing. This guy is probably going to turn around and come back and then stop again. That's all right. Gives us a couple minutes to sell off some coal. And then how much is that modded sprayer? 259000 We may buy that. Did you ever figure out uh, meats for like the cows? And so I haven't gotten into that yet. Uh, we were the main focus was getting the map ready for the Patreons. So tomorrow, I'm going to work on orchards, greenhouses, and dairy. That's going to be the first priority before I get into like a slaughterhouse and animals. I want to get the basics done first. Because we're going to use a lot of the, the orchard and greenhouse products in other factories. So I want to get those out first. That'll be an update one. Because the dairy is going to make... I'm going to take the in-game dairy that makes cheese. We're going to add sour cream and uh, Cool Whip to it. Whipped cream and sour cream is what we're adding to the dairy. So that'll be update one. And then after update one, I'm going to look into the uh, slaughterhouse slash, you know, animal pen updates. I do, before I release the map to the patrons, at some point today, I want to mess around with the custom egg palette. Because I don't like those little egg boxes. I want to see if we can get a custom egg palette to work. I just don't know if it'll spawn out at the animal pens. So that's something we're going to have to mess with. I'm going to drive this guy back to the mine because we're probably going to sell off one more load of coal. So maybe after lunch we'll mess around with um, a custom egg pallet and then we'll throw it on, we'll jump into test map, we'll throw a chicken pen down, and we'll see if we can't get it to spawn out a custom egg pallet instead of a um, the egg box. Unfortunately, in 22, the animal husbandry XML all of the animal XMLs are locked. You can't get to them. You don't, you don't have access to them. So I'm hoping someone can break it or rewrite it. But right now, you know, I don't have access to any of the animal XMLs. I can't adjust the animal food XML. I can't adjust the animal husbandry XML because Giants has them all locked.
Now the animal pen XML I can adjust, but I can't adjust any of the, the XMLs that actually run the animals. It's really frustrating. All right, so you're done. Let's get you out of the way. But you are my slower tractor. Um, I want to use the tractor that's spraying for the plow. Let's switch tractors a minute. So let's let's switch you with the sprayer. Let's stop you a minute. Uh, let's drop you. drop you because I want to use this guy for the plow. He's got more power. So we'll drop this guy off. We'll grab the plow. Let's throw you on the sprayer. So yeah, after lunch we'll mess around with, uh, probably instead of playing, we'll probably mess around with the egg bo custom egg box, see if we can't get that to work. And maybe I'll make like one pallet of so like sausage and we'll test like a pig pen or something. Just to see if I can get it working. Alright, let's get this first field plowed. take this guy back to the house. I'm probably going to sell that old barn off and put some other sheds down. I know this field was showing the plow texture, but on the uh, on the other screen it was showing it needed to be plowed. So I don't know if that's a glitch with 22. Here, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So if I look into this screen, it tells me that. Um, it's plowed, the purple color. But if I go onto this screen, it tells me it needs plowing. So that's why I'm just going to plow it.
I believe someone actually did break the dot the data s file. I've seen it on the SGA website. I have access to a lot of the character stuff and scripts. Send me the animal files. I want to look at the um um hold on, what are they? Let me go to my uh let me look in here real quick. I believe it's maps. Uh maps, map, map. I need the um these three, the animal XML. I don't necessarily need the animal names, but the animal food. If I could get the animal XML and animal food XML, that would be awesome. Then I can mess around with, um, like custom, custom stuff for the animals. I couldn't get them because they were the uh, the S data or data S or whatever the giants locks them under. What's the best way? Shoot me a whisper on here or a private message on Facebook. I would love to mess around with custom food for the animals and I want to speed up the amount of eggs that chickens produce because then I'm going to do a custom egg box instead of the in-game egg box. And then I'm going to see if we can add a butcher box to like the pig pen. I want to see if the pig pen will make like sausage. So we won't have to do a separate um, building for um, like a butchery or a, a slaughterhouse. Am I going to get stuck on the bridge? Just made it. Sync 98, yeah, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, eventually I'm going to merge these two fields together, but right now I want two different crops. So our sprayer is empty. So let's go take care of that real quick. Yeah, I don't want to buy that um, sprayer I modded yet until I can get the animations working on it. I'll mess around with that off camera. I'll deal with the slow equipment, yeah, for a couple, a day or two.
Oh my goodness, excuse me. Driving like a madman trying to hit my mute button. finish this. Yeah, I know I'm in your way, so you're going to miss that little strip. One field ready for seed. Animal food Lua, animal name Lua, animal husbandry Lua. Will it let me click on them here? Um, so I didn't find the animal food XML, but did find a husbandry food. That's fine. Yeah, if you want to just like zip them up and shoot me a link, and then I'll can I can mess around with those off camera a little bit. All right, so before we start plowing this field, oh, I I wouldn't. So I, oh, I didn't find the animal food XML. Animal husbandry food Lua. Um, husbandry one and a. Yeah, that's that'd be awesome if you can just yeah if you can send them to me um in a whisper here or a private message on Facebook yeah that would be awesome. All right, we're gonna have to fix. Where's our sprayer? Let's fire you a minute. Let's take care of a headland on this side, so I can get our plow working. Yes, sync, thank you very much. That's much appreciated. I'll mess around with those off camera. I'll, may, I'll probably mess around with those tonight off camera before I get the map out to the Patreons tomorrow. I'm in the Richie Maps and Mods collaboration group on Facebook. Awesome. Come on, I thought I turned you off. Okay, why are you dragging the ground? Why are you dragging the ground? What did I accidentally hit? I 
have no idea why it's dragging the ground. There we go. Drop the tool on the ground and pick it back up. Yeah, it was dragging the ground. I have no idea why. Alright, you go back, do your thing. Cherokee, hello. How is the testing going? I'm done testing. Dixie's going to do a little bit more live stream testing today. Um, when she gets back, she's got some real life stuff going on right now. And then uh, the only thing that's not tested is the BGA. Everything else is fine. We haven't found any other issues. All the factories work. All the triggers work. There's, we haven't found anything else floating. The new crops work. Can't send the zip through Facebook. You're not going to be able to post it, but you're going to have to send me a private message. Um, here, I'll show you in a second. File type not supported. It should. If you go to... Uh, um, you know what, I don't want to jump on my Facebook on camera. Um, <clears throat> click, right click on my name, go to message. And then under message, you'll have a, a picture of a, a little picture of a photo to add an attachment to. You should be able to send it to me that way. If not, shoot me a whisper here if it'll let you. If not, I can get with you after um, after the stream. I tried, but that's what... Okay, so it's not going to let you send it. Okay, sent maybe. <laughs> I can't check my whispers while I'm streaming. Um, because if I try and open up, um, the Wi-Fi is really bad today, so I don't have any, I don't have like an internet browser open. I'm watching chat on Streamlabs. If I try and open up a browser, it's going to just probably going to boot me off, um, off the Wi-Fi. Send it, oh, send it my Facebook. Awesome. I could grab my phone in a second and see if I have any Facebook requests, message requests. Yeah, so it's overall, I think it's really slim pickings on good mods for 22 in the way of vehicles and equipment that doesn't throw any um, Lua errors. I Yesterday I got rid of, I think, 8 or 10 mods that were throwing Lua errors. And I finally just took an in-game harvester and made some personal edits to it. Because the iconic pack I had was throwing errors and Stevie's harvester was throwing errors. I don't know if it was something on my end if I had a mod conflict, but 
Iconics harvester was throwing Lua errors, and Stevie's harvester was throwing Lua errors for some reason. worker for a minute just to get our sprayer out of the way. But I want to use this um, tractor to seed with because it has more power. But let's get this guy back to the house. Oh, might as well go this way. Yeah, I can't wait to get into tomorrow and start doing some custom orchards greenhouses. I have some of the pallets built. Um, a lot of the pallets are not built yet. Alright, let's come back here. I'm, I'm going to fire you. Let's finish this up real quick. Yeah, we, uh, Dixie and I were both pleasantly surprised on how well testing went. I literally only had like five or six things to fix. And I, I, I was, I did get um, water distribution working. So we took the modded refinery that we have. You're going to get it's built into the map. And I added hydrogen and oxygen to it. So it makes hydrogen and oxygen. Um, and then I took the composter, because it's the only mod right now that doesn't accept water. So I needed a mod that does not accept water as an input. So I took the composter and I added hydrogen and oxygen to it, making water. And if you turn it on distributing instead of storing, it'll automatically send the water to the factories that use water. Now I'm also going to make a little placeable factory, something similar to the ice house, that takes the hydrogen and oxygen and turns it into water. So you can put it on distribute and automatically send water to your factories without hauling it around. And I threw it in my test map this morning, and it's working fine. So if you don't want to ha if you don't want to haul water around in a tanker, you can just do it automatically now. So I got that working this morning. I just have to get it to Dixie because she doesn't have it yet. She still has um, yesterday's version of the map. I didn't get her today's version of the map because I made a bunch of updates this morning. But everything works with an existing save. 
Alright, this won't fit through the bridge, so we're going to have to take the long way around. Ah, let's go grab our new DB120. Uh, where do I want to put this plow? Might as well put it over here with our other equipment for now. Yeah, that barn I'm going to sell off. Right, let's grab the DB120. Just to get it out of our way. Let's fill this puppy up. I'm probably going to plant wheat in the smaller field just so I can get some straw for the composter. And then I'm going to throw rice in the bigger field, field two, so we can start making seeds. So let's spend some more cash. The DB120 will get you in the mod pack with the map. So there's a whole bunch of mods you're going to get with the map. None of them were taken credit for. They're all credited to the original mod authors. So the um, you'll get the Ropa for the um, carrot harvest. You'll get the DB120, the snowblower. There's an MAN truck and tanker you need to haul the custom liquids around with. Uh, seed maker, gra uh, fertilizer maker, grass dryer. There's, you're going to get about six to eight extra mods with the map. Uh, we might as well just spend the money and fill it. We can sell off another load of coal. This will plant every crop on the map, so even poplar. This will plant your root crops. Your it's not realistic, but it'll plant everything on the map. But we don't play super realistic anyway. What did the chickens need? Do the chickens take wheat? If the chickens take wheat, I'll plant wheat. I haven't even looked into the animals yet. Um, animals. Cow pasture, cow bar, oh, here, chickens, hold on, chickens. Okay, so the chickens take wheat. So I'll plant either wheat or barley. So we'll leave it on wheat. We'll plant some wheat, 
This way we can test the uh, extra chicken box. If I can get the, ch the bigger chicken egg box to work, uh, we'll have some wheat. That'll be good to have vehicles to work with with the map. Yeah, I'm going to get you everything we can, but we're not taking credit for any of them. They're all going to be credited to the original uh, modders. So our names are not on any. All we did was take them and make personal edits to them so they work with the map. So that's the, all we did to them. Uh, chickens take the wheat. Yeah, we'll plant wheat here. We'll save it for the chickens. And then we'll use the straw to get the composter up and running with. And I'll throw rice in the other field so we can get the seed maker working. Yeah, I'm going with simplified production this year. 19, it just became too complicated and too much of a pain in the ass for um, single player. So we're going to go with simplified production this year. Nineteen became a pain in the butt for single player. You just couldn't keep up with all the factories. I'm dumbing it down for 22. I don't know why you get that texture glitch and the difference when it looks like the field's extended but it's really not. I don't know if it has anything to do with the cedar or if it has something to do with the map, I couldn't tell you. Let's just run up this weird shaped field. Simple is good for a 4x single player, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to do any complicated production chains like we had going in 19. It just makes playing more enjoyable. No bus, no workers. No managers, no foremans, no workers, no power. Simplified things.
get our rice planted. Change the fill type now before I forget and end up putting wheat in that field. I think that one's rice. I don't know this I don't have the symbols memorized yet. Nope, next one's rice. That one's rice. Um, In-game maps are way too... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I, I, I refuse to play 22 with in-game maps. Alright, let's get rice planted over here. change something on Streamlabs a second. I just need to fix something. I'll be right back. Forgot to turn my mic back on. Yeah, I had no desire to um, play 22 in any of the base game maps. Mike still on? Yeah, Mike should be back on now. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I didn't realize I was muted. But my according to Streamlabs, my mic should be back on. There's probably a delay in my stream because the Wi-Fi is really, really slow today. But let me know if the volume is back on. Uh, 
maybe this sounds not back on. Let me turn my mic on. See if that helps. I have a new uh, headset. Sounds good here. Okay, yeah, I have a new headset, and it's been acting up since the day I bought it. And so I can always pull my spare back on now. All right, yeah, I didn't realize I had my mic muted. Yeah, I was going to take care of something in Streamlabs, but I'm not logged in as a moderator. Dixie usually swings the hammer for me, but she's got some real life stuff going on today. She's going to try and stream tonight um, from her server with, I think, with Bill. So she's actually going to come in and set up her farm like I'm doing today. So she's going to do more of a realistic um, playtesting as well today. Time is it about 11:05 my time? I'm gonna go a little bit longer, and then after lunch I'm gonna mess around with. Um, I want to. I'm gonna do some experimenting after lunch. So we're, we're gonna experiment with some pallets after lunch, and we're gonna experiment with some animal pe pens after lunch. Just so I know if I can get something working with um, some animal pens and custom pallets. So we'll probably mess around with that after lunch and back into the test map. Just so I know if I have to make another couple updates and changes before I send it to the Patreons tonight. So I'm assuming, I'm sure both of these are going to need to be rolled. I don't have a custom sped up roller yet. I'm going to probably work on that also. Because the in-game rollers are super slow. I don't think I have any custom rollers yet. But this probably needs to be rolled. It does. And then this one probably needs to be rolled. It does. All right. I don't get the whole rolling after seating thing, but it that's just me. This thing barely fits through the bridges. <laughs> Alright, we're going to park this thing. Yeah, I'm going to sell this barn off. Let's put you here for now. 
Oh, what tractor do I want? Let's grab this one. It's more powerful. Let's grab the roller. And we'll set off a worker. I don't think I have... That's the in-game one. Let me check my mods. I don't think I have any custom rollers yet. Yeah, I don't have any custom roll. Oh, we have there's a bigger one though. Oh yeah, we're gonna sell this off. Hold on. I'm just gonna let's upgrade that real quick. Let's grab the bigger one. And then eventually I'll find a modded one that's quicker. Yeah, let me get this barn out of my way. Uh, let's go into here. Construction. Let me turn my camera around. And let's get rid of that barn. That's better. Now I can uh, put some cu uh, custom... It's just out of my way. I can put some custom sheds down. That's much better than that little one I was using. Oh, come on. Why are you, like, dragging the ground, like, really slow? Like, I can't even pull it. I've got a good tractor with a big motor. Yeah, it's dragging the ground like I can barely move. And I didn't even turn it on yet. Right, let's hire a worker. Jump out of here. Alright, you go do your thing. Alright, we need some more cash while you're rolling our field. So let's sell off another load of coal so we can get some other factories up and running. Why can't I lower you? There we go. So I want to get the ore mine, I want to start working on, I'm going to work towards Mammoth Mill, so coal mine, ore mine, uh, fertilizer maker, seed maker, grass dryer, composter is what I want to work towards. So we're going to get some more cash. The hitbox seems to be a little bit better. It seems to be picking the stuff up a little bit a little bit better than what it was. I'll, I'll mess around with the triggers on this some more off camera. She's good but she's still not perfect. Yeah, so we need to do um, like coal mine, coal mine, ore mine, 
uh, mammoth mill, which means I'm going to have to cut some grass to get the composter up and running. I think, yeah, I'm not sure what Dixie's plan of action is going to be. It's going to be fun to watch her stream tonight and see how she approaches the map. See where she sets up. She's not going new farmer mode. I think she's going to do, um, not start from scratch, but whatever the other mode is. The middle one. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Are we full? We're, we're about full. Now we're full. Yeah, so I'm curious to see what Dixie's approach is going to be with the map. My approach is sell as much mining materials off as possible to get what you want up and running. Oh, so that that worker doesn't like the odd shaped field either. So he's going to stop at the end of each freaking row as well. So if I rehire you here, so what are you telling me? So I needs rolling over here. does not need rolling over there. So he's going to stop every time he comes back. And then I haven't played long enough to know what the mulcher does, so y'all are going to have to let me know what the mulcher does and where I need to use it. So I haven't touched the mulcher yet. I haven't played long enough for crops to grow. Other than messing around on the test map a little bit, but realistically, I haven't played long enough for crops to grow.
it for our uh, <laughs> roller to go back to the end of the row and stop. How much are we going to get this time? Probably another 300,000. Probably spend every bit of it. Oh, price is going down 283,000. We're selling too much coal off. We're going to have to sell off either ore or silt next. Price is dropping. going to drop this back in the mine and then we have if I need some more cash we'll sell another load off but I want to get some grass cut so I can get the composter running it's used on the ground doing olives and grapes and stubble in the fields turns it to a oh as fertilized state um, have it okay you saw it on some YouTube videos yeah I'm mulching I haven't looked into yet too much but if we can like what I'm thinking if you're if I'm thinking correctly the like after you harvest the wheat you run the mulcher over it and it turns the stubble into a, a f state of fertilizer I think but I'm not a hundred percent sure yeah this roller is going to drive me nuts when it gets to the end of the row rehire you and then let's look at let's jump in here and jump into Papa Smurf's chrome pack let's grab uh, the bigger engine nothing else we're going to change so we're down to 184,000 I want to get the other half of our meadow. So I want to buy this half of our meadow. And then can I afford this little piece of strip across the street? I can. We're going to take these trees out and we're going to put down um, a couple of factories like we did yesterday on my test map. So let's get ready to get the um, composter up and running. Matter of fact, I may put the composter right over here. I'm not sure yet. But this thing is like, this is the biggest lawnmower I found so far and it's still really, really slow. Uh, so how do I change work mode? Sloth dropping. I haven't found any really good mowers yet. This one from Papa Smurf is pretty good. I miss my uh, Crone Easy Cut special from 19. I'm hoping someone converts that over. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, we're 
we're going to have to sell off some more coal. I don't have enough money to buy a loading wagon. I guess I could have went a little bit closer to those trees. I'm missing a whole swath. you up. I wanted to lift you up. Let's get one. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get a straight line going and I made a mess of it. I want to give myself room to turn around once we get the loading wagon. That's what I wanted to do. Let's take, I'm going to get a little bit closer to these trees. I want to get as much grass as I can. Come on. There you go. The animations in 22 seem to be a lot slower than the animations in 19. I may have to go in and make some personal edits to this and speed this up a little bit. And I'm sure the roller has stopped, so I need to go check on that. If I drove straight the first time, I would. This would have been a lot neater. <laughs> uh, let's go check on that roller. Yep, I knew you were going to stop at the end of this field. Hire you back. Yeah. This is so, the grass cutting lawn mowing is so boring. But that's all I have right now for the comp, to get the composter up and running. I'm not going to worry about silage. I just want to get some compost.
I am going to miss the clover from 19. If I add it to the map, it's going to be an automatic new game save, though. It's possible to send wheat from a warehouse to production. Um, yes, but I'm, I have to build it first. We were talking about that yesterday. Um, it all has to be done at one point or another on the farm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Alfred Prom. I'm going to build a, just like our pallet warehouse we were testing yesterday. So you could turn the pallet warehouse on to distribute. So I can send, I could go to my mammoth mill, I can make boxes. If I don't have a factory that's using boxes, I can send it, I can turn it on distribute and they'll go to the pallet warehouse. And if I turn the pallet warehouse boxes on distribute, it'll send them to the next factory that needs them. If, there's, if the factory doesn't need them, it'll store them until the factory needs them. We got that working yesterday. I'm going to build a bulk. It can't be built as a silo. It has to be built as a factory. But I'm going to build a bulk. I'm going to call it a bulk warehouse that runs on the same script as the pallets do. So I'm going to do a bulk warehouse for all of the crops. So let me turn this back on. I'm going to do a bulk warehouse for all the crops. I'm going to do a bulk warehouse for all of the liquids. So you can harvest your field, take the wheat and drop it in the bulk warehouse and turn it on distribute and it should send it to the next factory that needs it. Now, in theory, it sounds like it should work, but I haven't, we haven't built it yet to actual to test it yet. But on, but on pallets, not on bulk. Yeah, right now it's only working for pallets. I'm going to build one to work with bulk. I'm going to build one to work with bulk, and I'm going to build one to work with liquids. We, matter of fact, we may do that after lunch. It, it's not going to be hard to work on that after lunch. Just to see, in theory, it's it's on paper it should work. I don't know if it's going to work physically or not. We won't know until we build it and throw it in the test map. Yeah, we can definitely work on that after lunch. I would love to have that ready for when the map is released. Yeah, Sassy, yeah, that would be awesome. If we can get that working, you won't have to hand deliver anything to the factories. All you'll have to do is deliver it to the bulk storage. And then it'll go to every factory that needs it. just like I did with the water. So the water is the water is working. The water will now self-distribute. We just have to build a little water factory as well. So we'll probably do that after lunch as well. So we'll work on a little factory for water similar to the ice house. And actually we won't need it. Well, yeah, we will. We'll, we'll, no, we won't need it. The bulk liquid will automatically dispense it. Now we'll work on, we'll work on a couple factories after lunch. 
we'll take the hydrogen and oxygen from the refinery and we'll do a little water, a factory that makes the water. And then you can turn it on distributing and it will automatically send it to all the factories that need it. And then we'll work on bulk storage but not a silo, actual like bulk storage, like a factory, like the pallet factory, where it'll automatically distribute it. And we'll work on bulk liquid, um, and we'll see if we can get that working. Now, I don't think it's, I don't know if it'll send it to the animal pens because they're not classified as a factory, but it should send it, in theory, it should send it automatically to the next factory that needs it. Uh, let's go back and check on our roller. So you have just this little line to finish. So let's hire you back. You'll finish the last line on this. That's all. That's going to be more trial and error, though. Um, in the multi-production mod, you add fertilizer, and you can distribute it directly. Yeah, you could take um, my fertilizer factory that I built and turn it on distribute, and it'll automatically send the fertilizer to the seed factory, and take the fertilizer and grain and turn it into seeds. We, we did that whole production chain yesterday, and it's all working really nice. So I can go to the coal mine, turn the coal mine on, because the coal mine makes clean fill, and tell it to distribute. I can go to the earthworm factory, and I can tell the earthworm factory to take... Um, let me back up a step. So I could tell the, the, all of the mines to make clean fill and send them to the, to the earthworm factory. I could take the composter, I could send it to distribute, and it will automatically send it to the earthworm factory. And then you could tell the earthworm factory to distribute, and it sends the earthworms directly to the fish pond. And then you could tell the fish pond to automatically distribute and it takes the earthworms, turns them into fish, and then it sends the fish directly to fish processing plant. So we tested that whole theory yesterday, and it works. I just I want I want to build a um, some bulk storage so we could test that as well. the weekend available testing the map it's going to go to my patreon members tomorrow because they've supported me for a couple years however long i've had my patreon account open um so it's going to go to the patreon members first and they'll have it for a week before it's released so patreon members tomorrow general public the following friday Yeah, right now only Dixie and I have the map. Unfortunately, I'm gun shy on who I give it to because I had one of my maps leaked for 19. And they made a mess of it and then put it out as their own map. 
with my name on it. It was it was complete crap. So I'm really leery who I give the map to. Alright, so you're done here. So let's get you over to this field. Oh I'm gonna need a I'm gonna hit that tree. If this thing doesn't lift, you can fold it, but you can't lift it off the ground. Matter of fact, I had two of my maps leaked in 19. So, again, I do apologize, but I, I'm really gun shy on who gets it. Until it goes, after it goes public, I have no control over it. I'm going to go about another 10 minutes. I'm going to get out of here for lunch for an hour. And then I'll be back. We'll have to sell off another load of coal so we can buy a loading wagon. I'm going to see if I can speed this mower up also. It's, if it can go like double the speed, it'll be, off, it'll be awesome. So we'll mess around with that after lunch as well. This way when you download Papa Smurf's mod pack, you'll know how to go in and make a personal edit to speed it up. So the Papa Smurfs mods you're going to have to get off of his website. They will not be in the in the download with the map. I'm hoping he has the Triple Y T440 out within the next couple days so we can use it for the root crops. But I'm sure if I get this sped up, I'm sure he won't mind if, if I, uh, he, he'll still have full credit for it. I'm sure he'll let me share it. All right, let's go check on that roller. So he turned himself around on this field. He wouldn't turn himself around on the other field.
So yeah, I'm hoping we can get the crops working like the pallets where it'll automatically distribute them. That'd be so awesome. So when you put your pallet warehouse down, if you turn, if you leave it on store, it's going to spawn the pallets right back out until the pallet spawners are full. So if you don't want 20 pallets on your on the map spawned, turn it from storing to either distributing or sell. It's up to you. I learned that lesson yesterday. Go watch my stream from yesterday. I ended up with like 20. When I put the pallet warehouse down to test, I ended up with like 20 pallets spawned out because I left it on storing instead of distributing. Yeah, I'm going to use this meadow for my animal pens. get to the end of this roll. I'm going to check on the roller and I'm going to get out of here for an hour. And then I don't know if we'll be back on this map after lunch or not. Well, we're going to work on a couple of things. We're going to experiment trial and error after lunch. Yeah, let me do a headland on this side so I have room to turn my uh, loading wagon around once we buy one. So you are... So you'll do fine on this odd-shaped field, but you won't do fine on the other odd-shaped field. That's bizarre. I'm not controlling them. That's all the AI. But I am going to fire you. And we'll turn you back on after lunch. I'm going to throw you all on ending soon. I'm going to save this and close it. I don't know if I'll get any more playtime in today. We'll definitely do some trial and error testing after lunch. Uh, let me close a few things that I don't need open that I was messing around with this morning. Uh, fill types I need open. That I can leave open. But appreciate everybody stopping in. Uh, give me about an hour and I shall be back.